Hey, what is going on guys? It's Connie here from Menu Docs, and welcome back to a new video on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at a Overwatch command. First, you, what you're going to do is you're going to change the name, description, and all the above in the config object export to the appropriate data. And then we're also going to require a new module. It's called the Overwatch-API. Following on after that, we're going to be making a few conditions check using if statements. We're going to check if there was no arguments pretty much provided here and we're going to return if so i'm going to return a message to the channel and we're going to say please supply a username with a full stop there semicolon next what we're going to do is we're going to check if there was a second argument provided so we're going to check if there wasn't a second parameter um, a second argument provided or if I can not press tab, or we're going to check if args1 was provided and the array we're about to provide did not, uh, and sorry, and the content didn't have the array we're about to provide. So basically the message content for the second argument has to have any of the following. And if not, um, we're going to pretty much just return here. We're going to return message.channel.send. And what we're going to do is send a usage. So we're going to say, please supply a platform platform to check. Uh, we're going to have full stop there. We're going to add PC. Uh, we're going to add Xbox Live. And then we're going to say, or we can check PSN. Following line after that, we're going to say, if args0 dot includes a hashtag we are going to set args0 to args0 dot replace and we're going to use some regex here and replace any of the hashtags to dashes i'm gonna add semicolons again don't forget your semicolons guys so next we're going to add the actual kind of basis body of the uh, the command so we're going to do overwatch dot get profile and then we're going to add some parameters here the first one's going to be obviously args1 so args1 will be pc blah 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 next will be global so we're checking their global stats next we're going to add args0 which will be their username next after that we're going to resolve the callback here so we're going to do error or json and then after that we're going to go to the next space and put some parentheses here next we're going to check if there is an error and if there is an error we're going to return a message to the channel saying unable to find a user with that username Next, after that, what we're going to do is we're going to use some object deconstruction. We're going to look for games, level, portrait. Uh, after portrait, we're going to look for username. And then we're going to add playtime. But playtime is going to have another object. And we're going to be obtaining a few properties from there. We're going to be looking at comp. So comp, if competitive. And also quick play here. Next, after that, we're going to look for private because sometimes their stats can be private. Um, so we're going to have JSON equals JSON. Next, we're going to add another object deconstruction. We're going to do sports, sportsmanship. Next on the line is sh shot caller. After that is team, teammate, double M. Just had to double check that. Jason dot endorsement here next up for that we're going to be uh, doing another object deconstruction and we're going to do worn uh, sorry not worn one draw played lost and win underscore rate and that is equal to json dot games dot competitive here following after that we're going to go down two lines and we're going to do an another if statement we're going to check if private because as I previously said, if their stats are private, they won't display at all. So we're just going to send a message saying this user's stats are private and can't be obtained uh, via 
this command. And then we're gonna add another semicolon. We're gonna go down two lines and then we're gonna make our embed and we're going to use and abuse the object deconstruction at the top of the page. So as you see here, we required rich embed Oh, sorry. We required rich embed from the discord.js module. Next, what we're going to do after that is set color and we're going to set it to cyan. And obviously we have cyan from the colors.json. Then after that, we're going to set author and we're going to keep the same format we have for the last couple of videos. We're going to have the company that made the game and then the, uh, the game in brackets here as well as adding a long line with a username obtaining the first value that we'll need here um, and then after this because you can obviously uh, provide two parameters into the author we're going to have portrait which will be the uh, avatar they set on their profile next we're going to set the thumbnail and we're going to use the portrait again Following after that, we're going to use add field. Now we haven't used add fields in quite a while. So remember that you have to provide at least two parameters. So we're going to have general and then we're going to use strip indents, double dashes, go down a line. We're going to have level and then their level will obviously be level or zero. Uh, following on from that, we're going to have sportsmanship and we're going to obviously do sports oh do sportsmanship um dot rate um because the sportsmanship does return another object and you have the value and the rate uh the value is going to be zero point whatever the rate is and then rate is just going to be a solid number so we're going to do that or zero and then out of 100. next line we're going to do is we're going to do shot cooler uh, shot caller, we don't need uh, what's secured. And then we're going to do shot caller dot rate or zero, and then out of a hundred. Uh, then we're going to go down one more, and we have one more, which is teammate. And we're going to add team teammate or zero out of one hundred. And each of these values are going to return um, basically. A number and each adding all of them together will equal 100 so it's basically saying out of 100 uh, which of these three elements are they the most um, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down a line we're gonna add another field and in that field we're gonna do competitive um, Jesus can I spell today um, and then we're gonna add that before we add the next parameter I'm gonna do true here reason being is I want it to um, obviously be in line next we're gonna be adding played and this will just display how many times they have played the competitive game or zero following on from that we're gonna see how many competitive games they've actually won so we're gonna add one or zero following on from that we're gonna do draw uh, seeing how many times they've had a draw or zero and then obviously we're gonna have lost after that this is quite repetitive like last time but uh, what can you do so just know that there was a spelling error there uh, I had it accidentally added an R on following on from lost we're gonna have a look at their win rate um, and obviously just from looking at the elements up here we have win rate so we can do that or zero and then finally but not least we have their play time um, which will be able to obtain from just the, the competitive bit there so we do competitive or zero um, we add a string here sorry we do zero 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 reason being is because i actually haven't formatted to the uh, time so it's going to return um a little bit weird here but yeah following on from that we're going to add another field and the final but not least is quick play um obviously going on again we're going to add true as the third parameter we're going to do strip indent here and then the first one here is going to be 
played. And then we're going to do games dot quick play dot played or not applicable. Basically why I'm putting not applicable is the API doesn't necessarily return that information all the time. So not applicable just means that it's not available. So uh, we're going to do one games dot quick play dot one or zero. Following on from that, we're going to do the final but not least playtime and then obviously just quick play or zero. Now we're going to add another line there. So after this, obviously we're going to add our trusty set timestamp. That's not timestamp. Timestamp. And then go down two lines and we're going to send the message to the channel. So this is the entire command here. What we're going to do is I'm going to run the bot and then I'll bring you guys back after the Oxide hosting advertisement. This video is proudly sponsored by Oxide Hosting. With this hosting company, you can never go wrong. They provide outstanding customer support and all for a low price. Their services range from website hosting to Minecraft server hosting. If you are interested in them, be sure to check out the link in the description below. So I actually don't play Overwatch, so I've just grabbed some PC players here. We're gonna check out this guy first. If I can grab that. Prefix is dash, and then it's gonna return the data. It's gonna be a little bit slow. My internet has been playing up for quite a while now. So as you see, we have, oh, that's incorrect. I forgot to add rate at the end there. So see what I was saying? It returns an, an object there. So make sure that line 36 has rate as a property there. So if we redo that, redo that, we should be able to see that that will be a value. Yep, so as you see, 42, 43, adding up to uh, such and such, and then we're gonna do that. Yep, so as you see, it's uh, returned the, the actual value now. Next, after that, we're going to check this person. Reason being is I want to show you that it is, um, like, you, you can check more than one person. It's, there you go. So, there you go. So, basically, we're done with this command now. If you guys want to subscribe, that would be great. We're trying to hit... 2,000 subscribers within the next couple months. Um, I know that is quite a big ask, but we are attempting to get there. And guys, stay tuned because the long-awaited music tutorials are coming very soon. Um, I do apologize for the delay on those. And same with the database tutorials. We'll be getting into uh, some economy and guild settings and such very soon. Anyways, guys, this has been Connor here from Menu Docs. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.